to the InfoBright Open Source Analytic Database. In this demonstration, we will walk you through accessing the download page at InfoBright.org, downloading the Community Edition of InfoBright, installing uh, and setting up InfoBright on Windows XP, and then starting the InfoBright command prompt and begin using a sample database we call CarSales. Basically, the purpose of this demonstration is to show you how easy it is to download, install, and get the database up and running with sample data. So let's get started. Here we are at the InfoBright.org website where you'll find the InfoBright Community Edition. Again, the database for analytics. The first thing I want to do is to access the InfoBright download section. And we simply go over to the green download arrow, uh, click on that link, and this is where we'll be taken to the download area of our website. Here you'll find uh, download for, for uh, various uh, operating systems on, on the site. Uh, in particular, we're going to go ahead and run InfoBright Community Edition on Windows XP. So why don't we get started? The first thing I want to do is click on the uh, Windows XP download, and this is this InfoBright 3.4.2, which is the latest release, and then Win32 ice.zip. So let's go ahead and do that. And from here, I'll go ahead and open up the file. As you can see, we have it now on our desktop. So let's go ahead and close down the browser. And from this point, I'm going to run through the InfoBright installer. Okay. So we'll click on that. We'll go ahead and say run. It'll give us a message about the installation log. Uh, this is a log file that will be created uh, during the installation process. It stores information about InfoBright's execution. So here we'll say OK. And it'll just take a second to bring up the wizard. Here we go. So this is the InfoBright ICE 342 setup wizard. And I'll go ahead and hit the next button here. We operate under the uh, uh, GPL2 uh, license. And so this is the information about the license agreement. And again, I'll just say I agree here. I'll list where I want InfoBright uh, installed, uh, in this case under the program files, InfoBright. So I'll just use the default. And here I will go through the installation. Now while InfoBright is going through the install wizard, let's talk about some of the key features of InfoBright. First, InfoBright is MySQL compatible. It operates as a storage engine underneath MySQL. And during the installation process, we will install a version of the MySQL engine designed to run with InfoBright. That's all being done by this installer, as you see here. InfoBright is also a well-known columnar-based uh, analytic database and runs across a variety of operating systems, including great support for Windows, as we'll see here during this demonstration. What you'll also find that is InfoBright is very, very fast. Uh, we have over 120 customers using the database and finding it a perfect fit for their analytic and data mart needs. We also live in a very large ecosystem of MySQL. We have partnerships with Talend, a great ETL product, Jaspersoft, a terrific open source business intelligence suite, and even popular administrative tools like PHP MyAdmin if you want a visual interface to manage uh, the database itself. Okay. Now this is just a notification of some of the system memory uh, allocations that we'll be making during the setup. What you'll find too with InfoBright is uh, very few configuration parameters. Uh, that's to simplify the setup uh, and administration of the database, which is always a key goal of us at InfoBright as we build out the product and our roadmap. Uh, one of the things that you'll also find is that InfoBright is uh, a very small footprint, requires very little administration to run and manage. You'll find it very, very simple and get up and running very fast, as you'll see here. In particular, we don't need indexes to achieve the great performance you will see when using our database. We also have very deep compression where companies are able to save significant storage space when working with large amounts of data, and I'm talking about billions and billions of pieces of data. We have customers with billions of rows, and they're achieving blazing fast performance from our database. In fact, that they claim with other databases uh, they've, uh, that may have taken minutes, maybe hours to complete, we're operating in uh, minutes and subseconds. So uh, 
we're getting a lot of great feedback from our customers on our capabilities. Uh, we also have very deep compression where companies are able to save significant storage space when working with large amounts of data. We have customers with billions of rows again who are achieving this great performance and we hope you will give it a try. So after the installation takes place this here, we, we give you an opportunity to register, become a member of our forums. We have a great community. Uh, with lots of uh, information in our forms uh, website here. Let's just take a quick peek our, at our forms. And uh, we have very, very active forums. Our engineers uh, answer questions, our product management, our services, and field engineering team. So you'll have a lot of fun interacting, and there's a lot of experienced people with everything from database design, schema, SQL expertise, working with ETL and other business intelligence tools. So why don't we go ahead and uh, stop the browser here and finish the installation which happened uh, pretty fast as I was uh, talking quite a bit here. Uh, the next thing I want to do is go ahead and uh, go to my programs and you'll see now an InfoBright um, menu pick. Here we'll start the InfoBright command line client and as you can see uh, here, you'll see the MySQL uh, prompt. And that's because, again, we're MySQL compatible. We want to give all the uh, experienced people using MySQL a very friendly and familiar interface on top of InfoBright. And the way we can show that InfoBright is working as an engine under the hood here is by simply issuing the show engines command. And you can see this engine called BrightHouse. Uh, indicating that it's the default. In other words, that's the engine that I'm going to be using. Uh, this is the notion that we register with uh, the MySQL storage interface. Again, we use the term BrightHouse, but this is InfoBright uh, operating under the hood. So let's go take a peek uh, at the databases. So we'll say show databases here and uh, hit my semicolon. And here are the databases installed. I had a sample database already installed. Uh, previously to the download and what happens is when you reinstall InfoBright it will not delete those data directories so that you can preserve the databases that you've already created and installed. And that's just to simplify um, this demonstration and make it uh, uh, go a little bit quicker than waiting to load this very large database. So here we're going to go ahead and use uh, the car sales database. So we'll say use car sales and the database has been changed. Let's take a look at the tables that we have in here. So I'll say show tables. Uh, and again, these are very familiar MySQL commands that, that a lot of the MySQL uh, experience uh, developers and administrators are very f familiar with. So in this case, we have um, a pretty simple uh, set of dimensions and facts. And I, I just want to simply run a very simple query just to give you a sense of how easy it really is to download, install, set up. Uh, as you can see, I did didn't do anything to configure the engine itself. I didn't have to go into any special files and dig down into the command level and, and, and make any changes or whatever. So in this case what I want to do is um, use the table called uh, dim cars. So why don't we take a look at what the schema looks like here. So I'll issue the show create table uh, dim cars. So we can get an idea of what the table actually, how it's defined here. And you can see I have columns make ID and make name and model name and and uh, and whatnot. So that's the table I want to issue this quick query against um, to, again, keep the demonstration pretty short, give you a sense of the experience that you'll have in setting up and installing. You can see it's, it's very, very fast. So here we'll go and issue a simple statement, select make ID from dim cars. And we'll uh, see that we've uh, executed uh, 400 rows in, um, in sub-seconds. And in fact, when I go ahead and issue that query again, uh, you can see that the time continues to reduce. And that's because not only caching, but our uh, internal system called the Knowledge Grid, which is really the intelligence of the system. And you can learn more about this by looking at our three-minute demos that are on our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com. InfoBright DB. And there you can see a number of different discussions about our compression ratios, our uh, depth of uh, performance, uh, some of the capabilities of the technology that's very um, 
important to InfoBright called our, called our Knowledge Grid, and we have lots of documentation on our, our website. So I encourage you to jump over to InfoBright.org, give us a download, you know, whether it's Linux or, or Windows, uh, give it a try, uh, set it up, uh, try to shoot some of your own data in there. You could use ETL or loader tools and uh, see what you think. And we'd love to hear your feedback, join our forums, and we look forward to hearing from you. Have a great afternoon, evening, or morning, or wherever you may be located. All the best.